Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hi, GI TV. I'm Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand. Very excited to be back here again today because I'm going to be talking to you about the G&G G96 Mauser gas-powered snipe rifle. Now, I've been in airsoft for over a decade and a half. About halfway through my career, I got into airsoft sniping, and I personally can tell you that I prefer gas-powered sniper rifles. Now, before I go into too much of how much I really like this gun, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the features. This gun, right out of the box, is going to come in two pieces. You're going to get the nylon polymer stock. You're also going to get the full metal barrel bolt and trigger assembly. Now it's great because it's only two pieces, it's going to be really easy to put together with the included Allen wrenches. You're basically going to drop this into the nylon polymer stock and screw in two different Allen screws, one in the front or at least the middle of the gun and one near the trigger guard. It's going to be very solid and very easy to put together, but as far as the features on the top of the gun, you're going to get a hop-up adjustment knob right here. You're also going to get rail setup on the top of the gun, which is going to allow you to attach scopes, uh, mainly scopes, hopefully you're not putting a laser there, but you know, it's your, it'll be your own airsoft gun, do whatever you want. Uh, that said, the nylon polymer stock uh, features a number of sling attachment points. It's very ambidextrous how these uh, sling attachment points are set up. There's two in the front here on either side and two in the back here on either side. And a feature which I really appreciate is the adjustable uh, stock padding, or at least the, the butt padding. Um, now, you can unscrew the Allen keys right here, or the, the Allen screws right here. Take this off and take out either one or both of the, at least, spacers for the butt pad. You can screw it back on and you'll be ready to go. Now, this gun comes with a 15-round gas magazine. Um, very functional sniper rifle, firing at about 500 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs. Another feature which I should mention is the possible bipod attachment point right here, and another possible bipod attachment point right here. And if you don't want to have this on the front of the gun, if you think it looks stupid, or if you hear it, jiggling a little bit if you don't have a bipod on there. There is a button you can press right here and you can take that off. Don't have to worry about it. You can just use that bipod mount right there or just use it without anything on it featureless. But I personally prefer it with a few things but uh, yeah that's about all I have to say with this gun um, as far as functionality except for one more thing. Actually two more. Um, the safety will work if you cock the gun then you can put it on safe. Uh, that said, you don't need, necessarily need to do that. It's properly, preferably best to leave it uncocked when you're not using it. Um, but that said, when you do cock the gun, the back of the bolt is going to uh, push back just to let you know that the, the hammer is pulled back. So just so you know, that is a safety issue. It's very good to be aware of that fact. Um, but yeah, this gun, like I said before, holds about uh, 15 rounds in the magazine, and it, it weighs just over 8 pounds, making it a rather light sniper rifle, and I personally believe it is very well balanced. I started out my career with very heavy sniper rifles, and this is a much better change, and I really like the thumb hole here in the polymer stock. But... I know a lot of you out there are probably going to want to get some accessories with this, so I pulled a few accessories out of the GI stockpile to put it on there of how I would want to set this gun up. So here it is right now. Alright, so as you can tell, uh, I've done very little to the externals on this gun. I've essentially just added a scope and scope rings. And I actually elected not to go with a bipod because, for the fact of the matter, this sniper rifle is so much lighter than most of the sniper rifles I've become accustomed to, I decided to save some money on the bipod and put all of my monetary power towards the scope setup. Now on here, I've got a Vin Vism Vantage Series uh, 6x42 scope. Now that means it's 6 power zoom and 42 millimeter aperture, which is just right for what I want. Now, I've also got Leaper's 1-inch scope rings on here. Those run around $9, and the scope should run around $45. Now, all of that is taking into account that we haven't yet used the GI Savings Trifecta, coupon codes and 2% rewards back. So you're going to save some money on that, and for just over $50, this is a pretty great setup for an already great and fantastic rifle. Now, if I had my druthers, what I would honestly get for some optics is the Vism Evolution Series 2.5 zoom by 10 zoom by 50 millimeter aperture with illumination and mill dot well, dot. Uh, <laughs> that said, uh, what that means is that it's going to go from all the way from 2.5 zoom all the way up to 10 zoom, which is great for airsoft. And you're also going to have a 50 millimeter aperture, which is incredibly large. And you're also going to have illumination on this scope for low light shooting. And not only that, but it comes with a lifetime warranty. I love lifetime warranties. Uh, now, all of that comes with a rather hefty price tag at just over $200, around $210, but you get, you honestly get what you pay for. But for a 50, just above $50 scope setup with the 6x42 Vantage Series and the Leapers 1-inch scope, uh, scope rings, it's a pretty darn affordable deal that'll get you on the field ready to play 
right away. Now the last thing I should mention are BBs that you want to use with a gas powered sniper rifle. I generally go for around 0.3 gram BBs. Now these are Elite Force Milsim Max 0.32 gram bio BBs. Now I, I would generally suggest anything between 0.3 or 0.36. It honestly matters for personal preference. You could even go down to 0.28 or possibly 0.25, but I think you're gonna lose a little accuracy there. You definitely want the heavier BBs in case it's windy. You wanna keep your shot path right on target, and you also wanna be able to punch through foliage at times. So I highly suggest Elite Force 0.32 gram Milsim Max BBs for your sniping experience. Um, now also I'd highly suggest the rest of the Vism lineup to go with this G G96 Mauser gas powered sniper rifle. I I couldn't be more excited for this gun because it reminds me of one of my favorite guns from Counter-Strike, the Op. And it's also incredibly affordable, <laughs> at least for folks that are trying to get uh, into intermediate sniping, at around $380. Uh, then that's not counting in the GI Savings Trifecta. Uh, with our current coupon discounts right now, that's going to bring it down to just over $300, which is great for a gas powered sniper rifle. Well. I'm really a big fan of this gun. I'm hopefully going to be able to take this out to the battlefield soon with my own scopes. Uh, but I would highly suggest looking for this on airsoftgi.com. I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this is GITV.